like this before, and we have to pay attention right now because quite literally our times are in his hands. I think if there was ever a time for us to pray for Israel, it is now. It's, it is this now. Is a, this is a time for us to pray for our leaders in our country as well. President Obama is not outside the hand of God. We need to pray for, for him, pray for the leadership, pray for our military, and of course pray for people like you who are standing up inside our government and who are waving a flag and saying, hey, listen, we have a problem here and it has to be dealt with. And as you said, it is a perfect storm that's going on right now. To me, I think this is prophetic what we see going on. But uh, at the same token, our job is to continue to hold forth with the truth as Christians with the Word of God. But we stand up with the truth and we stand with Israel. So it is a dangerous time. But at the same time, in kind of an odd way, it's an exciting time, isn't it? Well, it really is. I'm a Christian, a believer in Jesus Christ. I came to know the Lord when I was 16 years old. And we know the scripture says, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. And so we look forward to the Lord's coming. And I say as a Christian right now that, again, what the Bible tells us has been true for every nation in all time, every tribe, every people group, every tongue. The formula is the same. We are to personally confess of our sins, repent of them, turn away from our sins, turn toward a holy God that we serve, the God of the Bible, and we pray for our nation as well, and we repent on behalf of the sins of our nation. And as Christians, that's something that we can do. We can personally go before the Lord, and we can go before the Lord and pray for our nation. And so just like you prayed for our nation's leaders, we together, those who are listening to this show, we can be in prayer, prayer for our nation, Pray for our leaders and those in authority. And the scripture tells us, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. 